and the consequences of the downfall of Yuzu and Citra are already being felt elsewhere. Two new Nintendo Switch emulators have emerged, but one of them has already been abandoned even before its first builds. Additionally, a previously paid emulator has just become free on Android. These are the topics you'll find out about in another short video about emulation. First off, emulators are like a Hydra. You cut off one head and two new ones emerge in its place. It wasn't surprising to see this happen with Yuzu. Recently, two new projects emerged, but one of them has already been discontinued. The two younger siblings of Yuzu were named Nuzu and Siyu. However, the creator of Nuzu, upon realizing all the problems ahead, both with the GitHub platform, where Nintendo is already keeping an eye, and with other developers, anonymity, and so forth, made a Reddit post announcing that, for now, they're giving up on the idea. Even the Nuzu Discord server has removed all development-related content and ended the project. On the other hand, Siyu seems to be in full swing. They already have a fork on GitLab, suggested by the community. We don't know if this is related to privacy issues or other aspects of development. The creator of Suyu is recruiting programmers to start studying the code, as it was developed by other programmers and may have some peculiarities or be a bit disorganized. Thus, there's an adaptation period needed. Suyu also offers a feature called Legacy Artifacts, which allows access to previously compiled versions of the old emulator. I'll leave the link to the project's Discord server in the description for those who want to check it out. As soon as there are any developments and compilations, I'll bring updates to you. Stay tuned to the channel for more information. And the last piece of news is that the best DS emulator ever made for Android, Drastic, has become free on the Play Store, and this is already a result of Nintendo's lawsuit. Drastic runs on any device, even those with only 1 GB of RAM, being capable of running virtually any DS game with ease. We don't know if the developer will revert this decision and start charging for the emulator again, so I recommend you secure your copy while you can, as it might be one of the few ways to get the apps safely. This is an adaptation from the Drastic creators to avoid accusations from Nintendo of selling their content. In a post on Discord, the developer stated that they changed the app to free and have no intention of keeping it on the Play Store for long. They also made it clear that they have no financial incentive to not open source it and intend to release it as soon as possible. Additionally, they mentioned that they were already considering this change, regardless of Nintendo's lawsuit, as something that should have been done a long time ago. That's all the news I have for now. As soon as I know anything important, I'll share it with you. Until the next video.